Tech Service of the Year goes to Raytheon and uh, Mike, and I've got to read this, Topography Optimization uh, is the service. That's a, that's a tech sounding uh, thing. Describe what it, uh, what, really what it's all about. Yeah, so um, when designing parts um, for, for, any, for any use, the, the standard you know, engineering practice has been like starting at a napkin sketch. We kind of sketch out what you think the part should be. This is doing everything in reverse. So normally you would sketch it out, design it, do the analysis, see if it works. And if it didn't work, it's literally back to the drawing board, like the saying goes. So what this is, is starting with the analysis. So when you're designing a part, you're actually starting with, what does this thing need to do? What are its forces? Um, what are the geometry it has to meet? What does it need to do? And then from that, using our advanced um, software, we're able to input the, that information and it will design the part for us. And what that does is give us the lightest, strongest, most efficient design that's possible. Um, with that, um, these designs usually end up being something very organic, um, something you would see like in the human body or in nature, because that is the most efficient designs there are. How, how did this? Uh, uh, how did it all come about? So the the technology is 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 been there. The idea of you know using kind of the analysis to design your part, um, and there's been like you know simple brackets and things used for that. But um, we at Raytheon saw what it was capable of doing, so we we took it to the next step, and we actually used it to design a. 3D printed plastic satellite demonstrator. So from there, we're talking about using this, you know, basic idea of designing your parts and using it to make, you know, plastic satellites. You know, which is, you know, something that, you know, hasn't been done before. Yeah. yeah. Kate Raytheon has a long history in Indianapolis, a major operation on the east side of, of the city. Talk about the Raytheon presence here, and the the, the really the technology and the innovation uh, that goes on there each and every day. Sure, so we are a technology provider serving the defense and intelligence communities. Uh, Raytheon Indianapolis has a very long and storied history. Um, it started actually as a naval installation that built the Norden bomb site, which really was an innovation well, be, well before its time, um, and it changed the course of World War II. So we have since built on that legacy of innovation when Raytheon, the, the site was privatized and Raytheon came in and took over and since then we have funded a number of innovative projects such as the one that, that Mike and his partner Joe have worked on that are really making a difference for the warfighter and also in you know commercial space as well. As you look at future growth opportunities and the ability to, to keep talent, attract talent, those things that all companies face, what's the outlook for Raytheon here in Indianapolis? It's great and TechPoint has been a major part of that. You know, we, we partner closely with, with people like Mike and Lauren to make sure that we are attracting the talent that we need in order to be successful. We're getting the word out about all of the cool things that we do. I mean, this is certainly something that I think does attract talent uh, across all labor grades and in industries, other uh, fields other than engineering, certainly because it's cool and it makes space tangible. Um, and so that's exactly what we need to do to get the word out about what we're doing. And TechPoint is helping us to find the talent that we need in order to continue that success. Uh, Mike, topography optimization. Okay, as you look to the to the future now and what this can lead to and the, the types of exciting things out there. What what are those things? So it's it's kind of a redefining what a what an engineer is. Um, instead of uh, just somebody starting with you know kind of an idea and it's kind of like guess and check kind of you know. Um, you know, thinking about what something is and then finding out if it's correct. You're starting at finding that correct ideal solution first. Um, so it really kind of changes what an engineer is. You're not just like an ideas guy, or you're just not a drafter, you're not just a mechanical guy. Um, you're, you're a more well-rounded person understanding what is actually going on and then finding that ideal solution. So it's a, it's a little bit different approach, um, but you know, the technology and the people are there. And you know, the fact that something like this, you know, if you said you know, Indiana was designing 3D printed plastic satellites, you know, not many people believe that was coming from us. Right. Great innovation, Michael Barsky. Kate uh, Maxwell, congratulations to Raytheon. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much.